So far, all the Landsat data sets that we worked with, they had something known as a TOA appended to them, to their names, and TOA stands for Top of the Atmospheric Correction. So these were the data set sets on which Top of the Atmospheric Correction had been carried out. But now, in many cases, we may encounter data on which no correction has been carried out and we have to carry out the correction. So just to give you an example, the, over here we have something known as the USGS Landsat 8 Collection 1 Tire 1 Draw Scenes and this is the collection ID LCO8 CO1 T1. So basically these are the data on which no atmospheric correction has been carried out. And now the same thing happens here. USGS Landsat 5 Collection 1 Tire 1 Row Scene. So basically when we have data that are basically in form of row scenes and that is Collection 1 Tire 1, on these data we need to apply atmospheric correction and these are in case of Landsat 5 it is going to be L2O5 and CO one T one. So basically, C O one T one means that we have to implement corrections on these data to get the T O A product. And in order to locate these, you know, you can say so. If I want to locate these products, we have. Over here we have Landsat 5 Collection 1 Tire 1. So you, we just have to go and search for which data we are looking for and then it will turn up a list and for that we should select Tire 1, Collection 1 Tire 1 and if we select TOA Reflectance, well TOA Reflectance are data which are calibrated to the top of the which are calibrated to obtain the top of the atmosphere reflectance. So that is not what we want. Remember when we have TOA appended to a data set, a Landsat data set, then those data are pre-corrected. But in a situation when we don't have TOA appended, which is this, you know, CO1, T1, in that case we carry out the bespoke correction. So the first thing, I'm going to read in an image collection into variable L8. So I'm going to say EE -E image collection, Landsat, LCO8, CO1, T1, LCO8, CO1, T1. And I have provided you with the links to the raw scenes of Landsat 8 and Landsat 5. And then I've created variable region and EE -E feature collection, FT. And I, in this, I'm going to read the boundaries of the Thailand protected area. And here we have var spatial filtered LA dot filter bounds LA region. So basically we are going to filter everything to the boundary of the protected area or thereabouts. And then I have var temporal filtered. So the data which have been spatially filtered on that I, I apply the function dot filter data. First of January 2017 to the 31st of October 2017 and then I'm going to sort from the least to the most cloudy and I'm going to store the results in the variable sorted so temporal filter dot sort underscore cloud cover and remember these are the things that we have covered I'm just going over them and in order to get the least cloudy image we are going to say bar scene ee dot image sorted first so basically in this we are going to sort things from least to most cloudy and when they have been sorted then we are going to obtain the first one the least cloudy image by saying dot first round brackets and that's it and map dot add layer scene bands b4 b3 b2 so let me just run it and there so as you can see we have the least cloudy image for this particular time period from the Landsat 8 collection. But however, since these are raw data, the top of the atmosphere correction has not been applied on these data. So I'm going to apply that and 
within Google Earth Engine, we have something known as eealgorithms.landset, which provides a lot of inbuilt Landset-based algorithms to carry out the corrections that we need to carry out. So we are going to use the algorithms from the family eealgorithms.landset and we want to convert raw data to radians first. So I'm going to create a variable radians and then I'm going to say ee dot algorithms so I'm going to say because I want to access the algorithms present in here Landset dot calibrated radians and I'm going to add this particular layer and I'm going to use the same band combination as before to display the output radians We are typically not looking for the radiance data and we want the top of the atmospheric correction but that's something I'm just going to come on to in a short while. So there. Now this is how we compute the radiance but now I'm actually going to obtain the top of the atmosphere reflect reflectance or the TOA values from the raw data and I'm going to use this particular algorithm which is right in front of us Landset dot TOA, which stands for top of the atmosphere, seen. And just to remind you, the variable seen is the variable which contains the least cloudy image, and we already did that by sorting it and using the first one. So this is this. And now. to actually add the layer and there the, when I say map dot add layer, now the top of the atmosphere corrected Landsat A data have been added for that particular area that we had been focusing on. And for that, I use the inbuilt algorithms present within the family of EE algorithms Landsat. And indeed, I don't have to compute the radians. I can go, I can take my raw data, which is, which happened to be these particular data and then apply the dot TOA algorithm to obtain the top of the atmosphere reflectance and of course for some odd reason if I want the radiance values then that too can be 
obtained by saying dot calibrated radians and then pass the scene uh, the pa pass the image which has to be corrected and this schema can be applied on both Landsat 8 and Landsat 5 and Landsat 4 images.